sometimes humans have to fight against titans in order to save themselves and all humanity. And sometimes humans do stuff that they really should not. And they will face the consequences of their actions. So two to three days ago, someone was sentenced for a crime that was committed a few years ago. Yes, you heard that right. This crime was done a few years ago, but they have only been recently uh, sentenced for it. So let's check it out and see who it was. This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Former Kodansha editor sentenced to 11 years for murdering wife in uh, 2016, and we're in 2024. So it took eight years for this to happen. Saturday, July 20, 2024, saw former Kodansha editor Jung Kuyun Park sentenced to 11 years in prison for murdering his wife at their shared uh, Boon Kyo War Tokyo, Japan home. This latest sentencing comes from a retrial at the Tokyo High Court which has upheld the previously handed down guilty verdict and associated sentencing. The murder took place early in the morning of August 9, uh, 2016, with Park being arrested several months later in early January 2017. Park was a former editor of Kodansha's Bisatsu Chonin magazine and was the assistant editor-in-chief of the company's morning magazine at the time of his arrest. So the former Kodansha editor's retrial sees no change in sentencing from Tokyo High Court. Uh, he was uh, editor who helped create uh, GTO and the Seven Deadly Sins and launch uh, Besasu Shonen magazine. Park's retrial in Tokyo officially concluded earlier this week, where the original verdict and sentencing were upheld on the grounds of his claims of his wife ending, lacking credibility. Initial reports from his time of arrest in January 2017 say Park claimed his wife had, you know, ended it herself, but this was disputed by an autopsy which allegedly found signs of strangulation on his wife, uh, Kanako's neck. The pair and their four children were home at the time of Kanako's death. Yeah, four children. Sheesh. Hopefully the kids didn't see the body, you know, because they were all at home at the time. Police reports, um, did they not hear a struggle or anything? But who knows, you know? Police reports also claim the video from a nearby security camera didn't have any evidence suggesting someone else entered the area or the couple's a familial home. Park called emergency services for his wife at 2.45 a.m. Oh, so maybe everyone was asleep by that time that would make sense yeah uh on august 9 2016 claiming he found his wife collapsed at the bottom of the stairs when he arrived home she was rushed to the hospital but sadly pronounced dead on arrival park's 11 year sentences were originally handed down after the first two trials but the supreme court of japan ordered the retrial on the grounds that it was not fully completed the case was likewise tried again a third time in the tokyo high court presiding judge kazunori claimed that there was was nothing unreasonable about the first instance ruling that the former deputy editor you know ended his wife by squeezing her neck on the mattress in the bedroom no matter which court this case went to none of them thought that you know he was not guilty the mattress before going to another room he then heard a noise outside the door and claimed to have seen her end it herself he disputed this saying it was too sudden and unnatural a viewer for Kanako adding that Park's claims lack credibility. During his time with Kodansha, one of Park's most noticeable achievements was joining the team that launched Bisasu Shonen magazine. This also marked the start of the Attack on Titan manga. In the magazine's first issue, Park was likewise heavily involved in manga production at the time. Park has also helped to create the great teacher only Zuka and the Seven Deadly Sins manga series. Also, apparently, um, the courts were actually looking for 15 years of a sentence uh, and then they uh, reached 11 years i mean by the time you know the sentencing finally ended and all that right it's, it had been a few years for that anyways and apparently the mother of the editor was all like you know the sentencing is too cruel how how could you do this he actually got a along well with his wife and all that and then apparently the editor also said that he just couldn't tell the children that the, their mother decided to, to you know just end it all herself so that's why his uh statements were a bit contradictory and stuff like that he tried to say a bunch of stuff but you know none of the courts really thought he was innocent or anything so yeah I mean, on one hand a lot of the people are saying why is it just like 11 years for something that you did and yeah it's just sometimes 
with the pursuit of law and all that, you know, it takes a while for anything to happen, really. Like, when people say that you can get, um, you know, locked up in, like, years and years of going back and forth to the court and all that, you know, they're not really exaggerating, sadly, because sometimes it really does take a, a long time for, you know, people to be sentenced, even if stuff is pretty clear or not clear you, you never know right but it does take a long time uh, for stuff to happen you know not everything is as fast as the tv shows show us one way or another and of course apparently he's going to try uh, to ask for a retrial apparently because he does not agree with the sentencing at all but yeah what do you guys think because there has been some other you know news involving you know someone involved in like uh either the anime industry you know like whether it's voice actors or like uh people that were uh manga artists manga authors or like you know ha were involved in anime or anything like that right there has been other news reports reporting about you know them doing also not so good stuff but you know this is just more of a reminder that it could be anyone committing anything at any time and you just don't know and it's not anything about the field that they're in but sometimes it's just uh you know what they do and then their name just gets attached to um something somehow and then that's all they get known for or that's what the notoriety goes for and then people just point out stuff right so let me know what you guys think about this situation it is indeed something at least the sentence was finally given to the person you know after so many years that's uh, one of the bright sides we can say about this whole situation but i'll see you guys in another video bye bye for now